Serena Williams is one of the biggest names in tennis, so it's easy to see why a younger tennis player would be a little intimidated by her. Well, that's exactly what happened between Borna Chorich and Williams, and the reason is not at all what you'd expect. So in this video, we're going to look at just why Chorich was so afraid to greet Serena Williams. Let's get into it. First up, Borna Chorich was afraid of Serena Williams. At the Wilson tennis event, Chorich and Williams were both in attendance and finally got to meet. Chorich mentioned that he was always a bit hesitant to say hi to her because he had the impression she could be grumpy at times. Even though he did want to meet her since she was one of the reasons why Chorich even decided to play tennis in the first place. On the other hand, Williams pointed out that in 2015 when they were both at the Australian Open, she noticed that Chorich was in the gym a lot and always joked with him about how he didn't seem to notice her. This exchange marked the beginning of their friendship. From then on, they were often seen chatting or spending time together during tournaments when their paths crossed. Williams and Chorich shared a laugh over their interaction. She recalled, He finally realized that I exist. She just always thought he was shy and reserved, which is why he never really greeted her. Little did she know he was literally afraid of her. When he revealed the reason for never saying hi, Williams mentioned that she can get just a little grumpy when she plays, because it can get pretty intense on the pitch. But she wouldn't have been mean or anything to Chorich if he'd actually greeted her. Well, we're all happy that he did finally finally meet her because they have a hilarious relationship. They're constantly making jokes on social media and it's entertainment for us. Next, could Serena Williams come back? It might be a shock to many, but the legendary Serena Williams isn't done with tennis just yet. Her words came during an appearance in San Francisco, where she said, I am not retired. This surprised many fans who had believed they were bidding Williams farewell following her loss at the 2022 US Open third round against Ajla Tomlanovic. Now it looks like she's back and ready to add to her already impressive 23 grand titles she has under her belt. At the TechCrunch disruption, event, Serena Williams hinted that she might be preparing for a return to tennis. The audience probably didn't take her too seriously, but it does seem like she's been refining her skills at her tennis court in her home. So we're just going to have to wait and see if she does make a comeback. It also seemed like she was hinting that she would play in the 2023 Australian Open in her Instagram story. She posted a picture of a tennis racket and captioned it, I'm a little bored. Why else would she say this if she wasn't thinking of picking up the racket once more? Unless as she's trying to play with our feelings here, it's pretty obvious we can expect a comeback soon. Coming up, she isn't going to retire just yet. When Serena made her retirement announcement in the summer, she wasn't necessarily ready to give up tennis for good. Instead, she had already started pursuing other career opportunities and wanted to focus on them instead. Doing those along with tennis would have been too much to handle all at once, so this was definitely the best decision. With the launch of her investment company, she decided that turning her attention away from tennis was the best choice for her at the time. Since then, she has focused more on her business venture and hasn't been giving her tennis career too much attention. When she stepped onto her home court this time, it was a feeling that she hadn't experienced in the past 26 years. She had been playing tennis since the start of her career, and now, for the first time, she wasn't practicing to compete in an event. Entering the court made her feel as if she were standing there for the first time, and although she's enjoying being back on the court, her current focus is on finding a balance between tennis, her company, and her family. She wants to make sure all aspects of her life are given attention so that nothing gets left behind. Moving on, it was never meant to be a permanent goodbye. Serena Williams is one of the most iconic tennis players of all time, and when she appeared on Vogue's cover in August, she spoke openly about her retirement. But she was to mention that the word retirement didn't feel right for her own situation. It was more of a transition than anything else. She never wanted to say goodbye to the sport forever. She just wanted to open up and explore new opportunities. She acknowledged that the word retirement can be a pretty big deal for other tennis players, or just sports people in general. But it was a little different for Serena Williams. She's still evolving. Serena Williams has a deep-seated aversion to the word retirement. Her family knows that it's an absolute no-go, and if ever mentioned, she would become teary-eyed. The only person she ever opens up to about this stuff is her therapist. Yep, it's that personal to her. She loves her sport too much to bid it farewell, and is determined to make a strong comeback in future tournaments. We can only hope that this happens soon, and that Williams' talent and passion 
and remain in the world of competitive tennis. Up next, she just needed a little break. It's obvious that Serena Williams never wanted to distance herself from the sport she loved so much. Growing up in Compton, tennis has always been her passion and her lifeblood. She's enjoyed every moment spent on the court and the joy it brought her fans. Her recent interview in Vogue and announcement of a possible comeback have made it clear that retirement wasn't something she would take lightly. Instead, she just needed a break for other pursuits in life. It shows how important tennis is to her and just how hard it was for her to even contemplate walking away from the game she holds dear. Her reluctance to leave the court was understandable. Tennis had been a major part of her life and it gave her some of her best memories. She often found herself in the hallways right before entering the court, jamming out to her favorite music, trying to psych herself up and drown out any distractions. It was almost bittersweet when she finally realized that it was time for her to move on, as retirement meant bidding goodbye to something she treasured so deeply. Saying goodbye is never easy, no matter how necessary it might be, and this was certainly the truth for her. Although she dreaded having to make such a difficult decision, she knew that leaving something behind doesn't necessarily mean you've lost it forever. It can simply mean that you have to find a new way of connecting with it. With that in mind, she seems excited for the future, knowing and so are we. Finally, could she break another record? Williams has made a significant mark on the history of tennis. She set out with a goal of winning the US Open, but she ended up far surpassing that and breaking record after record. Not only did she break Martina Hingis's Grand Slam record, but Monica Seles's as well. In doing so, she tied Billie Jean King for her unmatched career total of Grand Slam singles titles, which made tying with her even better. Despite all of these successes, there is one record that remains unbroken to date. Serena Williams is considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time, and she has come quite close to breaking Margaret Court's record of 24 Grand Slam titles. In an interview, she admits that she thought about surpassing Court's total a lot, but was only able to collect 23 titles before retiring from the sport. Despite not achieving as much as she wanted to, her achievements in this sport are still remarkable. Not many women have been able to return to play after giving birth and even breastfeeding or dealing with postpartum depression but Serena Williams did it with grace and determination, which makes her an inspiration for those who battle similar struggles or setbacks in life. Serena Williams has made it clear that she's gunning for Margaret Court's record of Grand Slam titles. At 41, she might not have a lot of time left to make her dream come true, but she's proven time and time again that age is nothing more than a number. She's determined to try and get back on the court in 2023, and we'll be rooting for her like always. That's it for today's video. Did you know Borna Chorich was totally terrified of Serena Williams? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!